and a bombshell in the murder of Jane Beshera. The man who confessed to the killing now says Bob Beshera, Jane's husband, did not put him up to it. That's a big switcheroo. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 6. A shocker of a twist in a story that has drawn national attention. Oh, Devin, it really is. The key witness against Bob Beshera is changing his mm -hmm. tune, saying there was no conspiracy, but rather that he killed Jane in a moment of panic while trying to rob the house. Let's get to our Sean Lee. He joins us live with a look at what Joe Gens is now saying and how it compares with what he said before. Sean? Polar opposites, Carmen. Here's the deal. The affidavit in my hand, one legal expert says, could change everything for Bob Beshera. Joe Gens said from the start, he murdered Jane Beshera. Bob was there ordering to do it. Now he's got this sworn affidavit on file here at the court saying Joe Gens acted alone. And Bob says, shut the woman up now. Hit her with my hand. That's the voice of Joe Gens in chilling secret recordings obtained by Local 4. He says Bob Bashera hired him to kill his wife, Jane. Gens says Bashera was there when he strangled Jane. She goes, Bob. And that's, Bob says, choke her. I want you to take her out. And I went, hey, bam. Come on. And you went, bam what? Show me, bam what? Took her neck out with my boot. Now Gentz is changing his story. The impact of this sworn affidavit from Gentz could be a game changer for Bob Bashira. The source of the document, another inmate locked up with Gentz, and the court is taking it seriously. Gentz now says he alone killed Jane Bashira. He says he went to the Bashira home angry that Bob hadn't paid him for two recent jobs, saying, quote, I knew Mr. Bashira was not in his house, so I broke into his home, walked into the garage, and Mrs. Jane Bashira caught me, and I lost control. Gentz now claiming that he says he lied at the urging of police investigators. Gentz talking behind bars now saying, quote, I could not longer live knowing that Mr. Bob Bashera was completely innocent and further explained to him that Mr. Robert Bashera was not even in his house when I killed his wife. Former Detroit police detective Tom Barry has this take on what Joe is saying now. My opinion, it's bizarre and, and somebody had him do that. That's just my opinion. Back here live, all this comes to a head. February 11th, 9 a.m. sharp in front of Judge Vonda Day. Uh, she is going to uh, consider what is in this affidavit. Uh, I did speak to Bashera's new attorney. He says he's going to raise this issue uh, along with many others at that hearing in February. Carmen, back to you. Sean, what about the credibility of the source of this new information? It was another inmate, right? Talking about another inmate telling a private eye, all that information being whipped up into this affidavit. We did ask a legal expert. He says all that really doesn't matter. What matters is what Gens has to say in a signed affidavit, risking perjury here. He says, in his opinion, that all those other things would be up to a jury to weigh, which may uh, lean towards a new trial for Bob Bashir. Certainly appears that way. All right, our Sean Lay reporting for us live.